It's finally Stitch Fix Day. I had to wait a long time to get this box. Let's see if the wait was worth it. Hey Divas, welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It, where I do unboxings and shopping hauls and clothing try-ons and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And if that sounds like fun to you, then please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can join in on all my shopping adventures. Cheers! Okay, so this is what happened. On the app, it said that I was supposed to get my fix on the 19th. And she didn't even start styling it until um, Monday. The 19th was Thursday. And I kept checking and I kept checking and it just kept saying that she was working on it. And then on Friday, which was the 20th, I got an email from Stitch Fix saying that it hadn't gotten scanned properly. My box hadn't gotten scanned properly and was probably lost in transit. So they were gonna work on a new one for me. And they gave me a $20 credit, which is nice. I had made some really specific requests in that fix. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any of them. But let's see what's in here. So Stitch Fix is a style um, subscription box. You can do it, you can get a subscription, you can do it on demand actually. And let's see, last time I came up with five fast fix facts. You get five pieces, um, they send you five, five items and it can be clothing, it can be jewelry, it can be shoes, it can be purses and accessories. So you get five pieces. Um, the fees are $20 to style your box unless you get offered the style pass, which is $49. Any fees that you pay for um, either the individual boxes or the annual style pass, that gets deducted from anything that you buy. So if you buy one thing after you paid the $49, then all the rest of your boxes for a year are free. Um, if you pay it per box, the $20, then you have to get something from each box um, to not have to pay just $20 to just get sent a box. Let's see, what else? Um, really easy returns. They send you a mailer and something that was game changing for me was finding out that the post office would pick it up from my house. That has just been like one of those things that has made my life so much better. Let's see, what else can I tell you about Stitch Fix? Um, all right, I can't remember what the other five fast facts were, but let's see what's in here. So this is the bundle, and oh my goodness, that looks so amazing. Um, let's see, we've got some purple here with some floral. I'm not big on floral. There's some gray that looks either black or navy, and then this is kind of a, a pink pink and white cable knit. Oh my gosh, that looks so gorgeous. Um, and I feel a box in here, so there's probably some jewelry. Okay. What else comes in here? There's your, um, this is the price sheet. I'm not going to look at that. I've decided to stop looking at that and just see what I think. You get your Oh Hello card. These, um, this contains a note from your stylist. And my stylist has been Cynthia, and she has really done a fabulous job for me. And then it also has style outfit ideas. And let's see what it says. Hey, Andrea, happy sixth fix day. So this is my sixth fix. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I am thrilled as always to style you today. You had some great requests for your sixth fix, and sadly, I wasn't able to fulfill them. But I found some things in their place I think you're going to love. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm not going to read it because I don't want to know what it was until I see it. Um, and I'm kind of sad because one of the things that I had said I wanted was some button front fly jeans. And they actually had a pair from Liverpool in my uh, shop. You have, you get a shop where they will put things in. Um, it changes out all the time. And I almost ordered them. 
but I didn't and I regret it now because now they haven't turned up again and I even checked on the Liverpool site and couldn't find them. So, the sticker says, enjoy your fix, then explore your curated shop. All right, let's bust into this. And there is some jewelry. So let's open that first. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a necklace. And it, let's see, it's in this little bag. And it is very pretty and I don't have anything like this. So it's these um, red square um, pieces, square and rectangle. Is it red? It looks red in there, but when I look at it here, it looks like it could be brown. And then these little silver balls, and it's two. So um, I will try that on. I really like that. Um, I always like to have different pieces of jewelry. Um, I was really excited with my first rocks box. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. So here we have a Daniel Rain top. And it is floral. It is a small petite, which is nice. And it's got this, it's got long sleeves and it's got that crochet detailing around the front, which is kind of a nice, nice detail. Let's see what it's made of. It's soft and 93% hmm, rayon, 7% spandex. Okay, so we'll see how that looks. That's pretty. All right. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so I'm really hoping that there's something in here that I'm going to love to wear for Thanksgiving. It's just going to be my husband and my daughter and her fiancé and I, um, but I still like to get dressed up for the holidays. All right, so this is Pink Clover. It is kind of a gray, yeah, I mean, I guess you would call that gray. It has the elbow patches on it, which I, I don't know that I'm a fan of that. I've been seeing it in a lot of the unboxings, and I just, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and then it's also got this button detail on either side, and it looks like just a scoop neck. Um, it is a small petite. They call this color taupe. And it is made of 19% polyester, 76% rayon, 5% spandex. All right, that's very soft. We'll see how it looks on. All right, next up, we have got a black sweater. Oh, isn't this interesting? Oh, wow, this is really interesting. So it's got, it's got the zipper down the side. Is it just the one side? Yeah, so it's got, it's got a zipper down the side. Um, and it, it works. <laughs> I'm not sure why you'd want a zipper there. And then it has this like um, netting around the neck and it has this, let me see, in the front it has like this lace layer. So that's interesting. That's, it's pretty. It's very soft. Let's see what it's made of. Yeah, it's got, it's, it's got like a, a mesh layer and then that kind of crocheted lace at the bottom. It says hand wash in cold water. I never follow those directions. I just wash everything in delicate and then hang it to dry. Um, I don't know what it's made of because I can't find the, I can't find a tag with what it's made of. Okay, all right, that's very nice too. And then this, this looks like, oh my goodness, this is, so pretty. It's got, it's a cardigan. It's a, it's a heavy cardigan. It's got a hood. The hood is lined with, um, like 
sh uh, what do they call it, Sherpa material, and then that goes down the front too. Um, I feel like I've seen this in somebody's box, and it's uh, got a little bit of ribbing at the wrist and also at the bottom, and then there's a little slit detail on the side, and it's this beautiful pink and white cable knit. So I will show you my outfit of the day and then we'll do the try on. Okay, so for my outfit of the day, I am wearing the Liverpool jeans that Cynthia sent um, a few fixes ago. And then just this maroon sweater, or not sweater, it's, a, it's kind of like a thin ribbed shirt. Um, and it's got a v-neck and then I've got this scarf. The shirt I got from Macy's a number of years ago. And then the shoes are uh, booties and let's see. And they hit just at the where the uh, edge of the jeans come. And the booties are by Aquatalia. So they're kind of a maroon color. And today I did go out and run a couple errands. I've been trying really hard not to go anywhere um, just because COVID is so bad in the state right now. But I had to run out and get some things for Thanksgiving dinner. And one of the things was green beans. And I actually had to make three trips to get them because I ordered from Whole Foods. And by the time I got there, they were out of them. And then I went to King Supers and forgot my wallet. And I had to come home and go back again. So finally, I got the green beans. All right, let's get to this try on. Okay, this is the first top and the necklace. Now, one thing I didn't notice about the top is it's kind of got a crisscross with the lace. And so I'm gonna come up close, see if you can see that. Even though it's a petite, I think this was a petite, it does feel a little big. It's very soft. Let's come up close so you can see. Um, can you see the, the crisscross? So the, the sweater comes around like this and then the lace is like that. And then it's got this funky, I just don't know. I feel like I saw this in somebody else's. I mean, you can see my skin. Why would, why would anyone do that? Um, so I, I guess it's just a fun detail. And then this is the back. So it's just got a little bit of ribbing there. And this is the necklace, which I like the necklace. We'll have to see how much it is, but now the, uh, the neckline is a little wide. So my bra is, is showing unless I, so what do you think of this one? Would this be Thanksgiving worthy? It's very soft. I like the fun detail, the kind of crisscross and then the, the lace. And you could dress it up with any kind of necklace, this or something else. So I like this. I think this is a definite possibility. All right, let's go on to the next one. You know what, actually I'm gonna try on this cardigan with this black sweater. This is very cozy. I don't know, I'm not big on hoods. I don't, but this is very cozy. This is, I love cozy and this is really cozy. So, what do you think? Get close, it's got the, the cable knit and the fuzzy material. <laughs> See from the back. I like this. Fun, um, warm cardigans are always a good thing. So, all right, now I'll try on another top. Okay, next up is this top. Um, this is the one with the elbow patches and the button detail. And I put the necklace with this one too. So let me come up closer. And it's got, you know, just the slightest little curve of the hem 
Um, so I don't know if that would be considered a round hem or not. A little bit, looks like a little tad lower in the back. So this is what it looks like up close with the button detail, which is nice. I just don't know what I think about these leather elbows. It's very, very, very soft. It just, it feels, feels like pajamas, really soft. Okay. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I'm going to try on the last top. Top number three. This is the Daniel Rain. And this is it up close. It's got this, this kind of crocheted detailing that comes down the front. And it's um, not cut too low. It's I don't know, these are kind of like between three quarter and full length. It's, you know, it's a little bigger floral than, than I like. I can't decide. I, I am unsure about this one. So there's the back. And that's my fix. Let's do a recap. Okay, I'm going to finish reading her note. Let's dive in. I wasn't able to include the Evolution by Cyrus sweater, but to grab the coziness of cable knit, I added the Letty and Me Sherpa lined cardigan. I sized this down to an extra small as it's a standard looser fit rather than petite. Let me know how it works. Layer it over the Daniel Rain v-neck with your favorite Liverpool skinnies. With the holidays approaching, try the RD style pullover with the Bancroft necklace. The red stones will add a nice pop of color, and I know you love fun details on tops, so I thought this lace inset was perfect for you. Stay well, XO Cynthia. All right, let's see what the prices are. Now this says it's fix number seven, and I don't know if that's because they're counting the one that got lost, or if it really is seven. The Bancroft Brea enamel layered necklace in red is $34 which is actually not a bad price. So that's a definite maybe. The Daniel Rain Elora Detailed V-neck Lace, and then it stops. So Lace Knit Top is $58, which is about standard for Daniel Rain. Um, I'm a little undecided about this. My husband said he thought it looked summery with the flowers, which I don't agree because I think that nice deep wine color gives it the fall vibe. But I like it. I just I don't know if I love it. Alright. The Letty and Me Helsa Color Block Sherpa Line Cardigan in blush is $54. I think that's actually a really good price for this because it's, you know, it's got some some weight to it and it's incredibly cozy. And I think this might be, I think this might be a yes for sure. All right. And then the Artie Style Tony Lace Inset Pullover. And that was in small, that was not a petite. And that's $68. So a little more expensive. Um, I was thinking I might wear it with my black um, faux leather leggings. So I like this. So a definite, not a definite maybe. And then the pink clover Luna elbow patch button detail um, knit brush knit top is thirty eight dollars, which is, I mean that's a pretty good price. So. Let's see what the stylist pick subtotal is 252. My buy all discount is 63. So that would bring it down to 189. And then if they applied my credit that they gave me for my box getting lost, it would be $169, which is not bad for three tops, a cozy, cozy cardigan, and a necklace. 
Um, I just, I guess I'm stuck because I had asked for a motor jacket in a color, um, like a fun color, and that that one top uh, sweater and button front, front and button front fly jeans. And so I still I still want the motor jacket in the jeans. So I don't know that I need three new tops if I'm still going to be looking for those things. What do you think of this fix? I think I love everything that she no, I like everything that she picked. I you know, I love how cozy and soft they are. I mean, she she nails that. Um, I just I'm trying to really hard to only buy things that I really love. And I would have to say, other than the, the Sherpa, which is just so cozy, I really like this. I like the details of the lace and the zipper and the, the neckline. Um, I almost wonder if it's a little too big. I wonder if they have an extra small. What do you think? What should I keep? What should I, um, I don't, ah, I just don't know. What do you, what do you think I should do? Leave me a comment down below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. That really helps me a lot. The comments help me a lot. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. I'm really trying to get up to 100. And on my other channel, I'm up 2,000. So <laughs> I got a ways to go to beat that. Um, until next time, dress like you mean it, divas.